Hi guys, Chris again, and this is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. In this video, we're going to go over what it is, what it can do, and how much you should pay for it. This particular model is the NVIDIA Founders Edition, and you can tell what it is because it actually clearly states right there in big, bold letters, GTX 1070. And then up here it says GeForce GTX. This was a upper mid-level 8 gigabyte video card released in 2017. The only real competition that this had at the time was the GTX 1080. It's a very nice card. It looks good, has a premium feel. Um, some people aren't huge fans of the blowers. Uh, some review outlets have stated that it's not exactly the best as far as cooling, but these generally were popular because it's a good looking card. So this is going to be able to play just about any game that you throw at it that does not require ray tracing. So in AAA titles in late 2025, that means basically anything other than Indiana Jones. It's going to be a few others, but mainly Indiana Jones. Um, so some games, so let's say 2023, talking uh, Jedi Survivor, 2022, uh, Hogwarts Legacy, those types of games, those are going to be on the very outer edge. They are going to be barely playable. You're going to have to use upscaling, and you're going to have to use frame gen, but you will be able to get them to a, a more or less playable state. They're just not going to be amazing. Earlier stuff, 2020, Cyberpunk 2077, going to run fairly well on here. If you use the upscaling and or frame gen, uh, it actually won't look bad. Uh, maybe as much as like high 1080p, 1440 low, stuff like that. It's going to be an okay entry level experience on those type games. Going back to 2018 and earlier, they are going to look good. You're going to be seeing high frame rates and high resolutions. So what should you pay for this? So the, uh, the Founders Edition, in theory, should be one of the more common models out there. I wouldn't pay extra for one of these as maybe you would for like a, a Strix or a, a gaming trio or something like that. I would be looking for one of these cards. If you're going to actually use it, it needs to be in the, the $40, $50, maybe $60 price range. Otherwise, there are better options out there for the same or not much more money. I hope you guys are educated by this quick look at the Founders Edition NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070, and thanks for watching.